to know that this one game has been playing every year for 125 years is unbelievable. I look at it and I'm like, wow, I am part of history. And that's the reality of it. How do you top it? The greatest moment for me was during my first year as head of school, fall of 2007, and it looked like we were about to lose the football game. Germantown Academy students here on our, on our campus at Penn Charter, they were ready to storm the field, they were ready to storm the castle. And then it was miraculous, there was the the pass, the catch, and then the hook and ladder, and, and we won the game. And then our kids, they stormed the castle, they stormed the field. It's like Penn Princeton, it's like Yale Harvard. It's, it's the game. You can be having an awful year and come to the GA game and it can make everything feel better. Something I've always dreamed about when I was a little kid. PCGA Day, there's a huge crowd. It uh, just surrounds the field. Just being in that environment is just awesome. marks the 75th renewal of the Penn Charter Germantown Academy football game. This prep school classic enjoys the distinction of being the oldest uninterrupted schoolboy rivalry in the United States. Needless to say, it's been a significant part of my life, having been here at the school for 51 years. GA at that point was located on Schoolhouse Lane before it moved out to Fort Washington. I remember it well. It's just old football. 81 wins for Penn Charter. When men were men. 33 for GA and 11 ties over the course of 125 years. It's Penn Charter GA, and, and that day is a really special day for, for all of our sports. The other sports um, have enhanced the tradition because it enables more students to get involved and more competition. Of course, it all culminates with the great football game. It's the last game of the year. For those seniors, they're never going to play another game at Penn Charter. So this is it. So they really embrace it like, wow, coach, this is the last game. And you get a lot of tears and you get a lot of emotion. really special and you can't even think of how special it is until you're finally gone and I think now that I'm a senior I really understand what's going on with this and how important it is to make sure you go out with a win. It was stars aligned, it was the perfect storm, we did what we were supposed to do, they made a few mistakes and we were very opportunistic. We rushed the ball at will in that game and, and so from a personal standpoint to see us do what we needed to do and to, to run as much as we ran and, and to have that success was great.
Geist Trophy is given to the MVP of the PCGA game. It's named after a uh, GA student, Joseph Geist, uh, who was a graduate of the school in 1948 and uh, later a participant and was killed in the Korean War. We're so pleased that you are all here on the 125th anniversary of the longest continuous football rivalry in our country's history. And today, I'm very pleased to award our guys recipient to number one, Eric Berg. It was a moment when I won it, I was just shocked. Like, I was smiling ear to ear, um, and I just could not believe I just won it. It's a great feeling to know that that my name is going to be in a trophy that that'll stay with uh, Penn Charter history forever. Usually, it's the quarterback, the tailback, the, the glamour positions. So for Eric to to take advantage of what we were able to do that day and to have the success he had, it was really special to see him rewarded. We won 54 to seven, so there, we kept breaking big play after big play after big play, and they only scored on us once. The game's important, winning's important, but having the opportunity to take those life lessons that you learn from being out there and transitioning them to when you're in the real world is what really matters to me. Some of my favorite football memories are from those high school games. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's heated, that's for sure. You know them, they know you. People live in the same towns and, and um, always a lot of fun. And uh, I think we were two and two or three and one. I can't remember, two and two or three and one when I was in high school, but we won my senior year, so that's all that matters. I can relate to this game as being uh, a, a highlight of my life in the sense of sports. The game for us meant like a championship and if we lost to them it would be it would have been like a double-edged sword you know we would have lost a championship uh, and we would have lost to GA you know at the same time. The 75th playing of the football game was a great day. The 100th playing of the football game was a great day. The 125th was a great day. You guys did a great job. You didn't take your foot off the pedal. I couldn't be more proud of you. We take part in this great educational program. I think it's a reminder that we shouldn't take this great place for granted and that we really are part of something special.